find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. Saturday Night Fever, you have Tony Monero. He's a 19-year-old kid living in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, kind of at a dead-end job. He doesn't really fit in anywhere except for at the disco every Saturday night. He is the star dancer. It is a big, flashy musical, and people are going to love the dance numbers, and they're coming for the costumes and the lights and all of that. But at its core, Saturday Night Fever, it's a really heavy story. And um, you get to see this kid, this young kid, just go through a lot of trials and tribulations trying to find his way. I'm just so sick and tired of being the no good in the family, the black sheep of the family. Our scene work is really what I love to do most in this show because that's where you get to see the character come to life. It's a scene work, it's a conversation where you actually get to see these characters and see who they are, where we can be our most real selves. You know, when I dance, I feel like I'm someplace. And I'm somebody, but it's just a short-lived kind of thing, you know, because the Monday morning comes, I'm back to the paint store, and it's not the same. Tony finds a connection in Stephanie that he, he's unable to find with the other characters, and he sees where he's going as opposed to where he is. I really love the moments after Tony and Stephanie really dance together for the first time, and it's like there's that spark. There's only walls around you when no one's holding you tight. Something that's important about telling stories like this is that the younger people who are now growing up and, and evolving and finding themselves are like, wait a second, I have felt that way, I have seen these things, I've experienced them. Why do you hate me so much? All I ever did to you was like you. A coming-of-age story never goes out of style, and you always can identify with the character, and I think in this play, we're lucky that there are a lot of featured actors, and so maybe you don't identify with Tony all the time, but you identify with Annette or Stephanie, and, and you get to see yourself in these actors. Annette, she's kind of a groupie to the boys in the play. She loves Tony. So during the play, I get to really try and win his affection and prove to him that I am the best girl in the club. Well, the song that I get to sing, which is such a classic, is um, If I Can't Have You. It's such a moment that I think so many people can connect to. It's just truly knowing um, what your heart wants and going after it. I have more energy at the end of the show than I do at the beginning, and you'd think that, that after doing a whole show you'd be tired, but feeding off of the audience's energy and, and going through the entire story arc and meeting all these different characters and people, it's just like, yes! It's awesome. Thursday, Thursday.